how many of you brush your teeth daily? Or how many of you will take the recommended steps for advice for good or health? Because if you're going to go by the proper steps, you might end up with a couple of holes in your life. Heart disease was found in 4.7% of the toy respondents without two dogs. 5.7% of those were missing 1.5 teeth. 7.5% were missing 6 to 31 teeth and 8.5% with four two thoughts. Uh, oral hygiene is important because it helps us, us avoid other health-related problems. My objective today is to inform the audience about first, importance of dental hygiene, second, effects of poor dental hygiene, and finally, some of the possible ways that, about that the oral hygiene can be avoided. First, let me start by discussing why oral hygiene is important. Oral hygiene is important because it helps us avoid dental then we decay and it aids us against the fight um, from other health problems. Bad oral hygiene can enter the bloodstreams and attach itself to blood vessels. Um, it also prevents our arteries from, from being caged with plate. It aids us in the fight against other serious health related problems like coronary heart disease and cardiovascular disease, which both happens when Plague, when our arteries take clutch with plague, which is, which is a substance that our teeth produce and it continues to the arteries. And finally, it helps our smile to, it, it keeps our smile in place with any type of deformations or problems. Second, now that I have discussed why oral hygiene is important, let me go to the other side of the fence and discuss some of the effects of oral hygiene. Here we have some effects. First, we have halitosis, which happens when food when food collects in our mouth and causes bad breath, bad breath. We also have cryonic disease. Cryonic disease is a disease that attacks the gums, the bone structure, and around the teeth. It also causes bad breath. The teeth are sens sensitive to cold and hot temperatures and to sweet food. <coughs> Finally, we have crossbite. Crossbite is a condition of the teeth where the position of, of one or more teeth are reversed. As we can see in the picture, they're not at the same level. Finally, now that I have, now that the effects of viral hygiene have been exposed, let me go to the proper procedures on how to avoid them. Here are some possible ways on how to avoid them. We first have brushing teeth, floss, and mouthwash. Others, other ways to prevent bad oral, hand, oral hygiene are sugar the drugs that can stimulate the saliva and, and prevent acids and help remove plaque. Eating a diet that does not contain as many sweet foods, acidic food, or sticky foods. Eat, eat you know, a diet that contains a lot of fiber, rich in minerals and vitamins. And finally, tongue brushing and mouthwash are, are as effective as, as flossing to prevent dental decay. Now, now that the proper procedures for dental decay have been demonstrated, let me recap briefly all the important information. Taking the proper steps that are required for good oral health will help you keep, keep your teeth in good stance. If you want to keep your teeth in good condition and avoid problems, you want to make sure you clean them. By simply finding the steps that I have mentioned, you can keep, to, uh, keep your teeth good, good in shape and you feel good about it. Now that I have informed all of you about the importance of dental hygiene, which includes in, in importance, um, proper care, and negative outcomes, if you know, I want to thank you for your time and I hope you make a great choice for your teeth. Thank you.